what's up guys and welcome back to the video so today i have another insurgency sandstorm sdk tutorial video for you guys and so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to set up ambient sounds for your map now before we get started i just want to quickly say thank you to each and every one of you that have been uh, watching the videos and uh, also new subscribers um just thank you guys uh, for supporting me and liking the videos and all of those good stuff um, I really appreciate it and um, I wouldn't be where I am now without you guys so hopefully we can get to my 500 subs goal um, I don't know when but um, we should um, make it happen so um, just share the videos around and then um, we should get to our goal of 500 subscribers so uh, besides that um, my shoothouse map is also out now you can actually go and subscribe to it on the mod.io website or inside of the game directly if you want to uh, but um, with that said um, let's get to the video okay so it's pretty easy to set up uh, your ambient sounds for your map but I'm also going to show you guys how you can add like a sound volume um, inside of building so it plays like a, a different inside like ambient sound if you would say. So um, all you need to do is if you come over to world settings and then default uh, soundscapes or you want to scroll down to soundscapes. Um, you'll see I already have like compound outside selected here but I think by default everyone... Uh, will have this demo outside soundscape selected now uh, what I've seen is that one doesn't actually work and um, I've only tested compound outside uh, or the compound soundscapes because uh, those are the ones that I found that worked for me um, uh, this is also the soundscape that I'm using on my shootouts map but there is other ones here uh, I'm also just not sure if you at the moment can make your own soundscape so uh, if you guys want to uh, choose another one besides uh, compound you can uh, you just have to make sure it actually works and everything um, but um, yeah so if you choose compound outside um, and then you play you should have ambient sounds now like uh, if I'm running around here, you guys should hear the sounds. And now, if I go inside, you guys will hear that uh, it's still playing the same outside, um, like, sounds. Now, let's quickly uh, change that. So, what you want to do next is you want to go over here to the left. And um, you want to click on all classes. Now, I, I, were, I was already there, but... I'm gonna just show you guys how you can get those. So click on all classes and just search uh, sound. And you should find it. And then this one, uh, the soundscape outdoor volume, this is the one that we are going to use. So you basically wanna drag this out. And now I'm just quickly gonna drag it up, press N so it snaps to the world. And now I'm quickly gonna size this to this small little HUD I think that is big enough let's make it a little bit bigger and um, let's drag it in here and all I'm gonna do now is make this a little bit bigger so it actually fits the HUD it's not exactly correct so let's move it like that that does look good enough so all you need to do now is to drag it up now obviously you guys will have different buildings so obviously you want to <laughs> make it like of the shape or make it as big as your your the inside of your building is and so um once you've done that like i think this is good enough um whilst you still have it selected in the details panel here where it says definition on this one you now want to go and choose uh, the inside version of whatever soundscape you chose so i'm going to choose compound 
I'm gonna choose inside huts. This is a sort of like a hut or like a shack. Um, but um, so once you've done that, uh, you should be all good to go. Now I do think, let's say you guys have like a little bit more like sort of um, like bends or your the building isn't like just like a nice uh, square like this. Uh, I do think you can use more than one of these for one building so you just basically uh, put it like in one section and let's say if I copy this and it uh, makes like an L or and then you can put it like so to like cover this part of the building and so on and so on so um, after you've done that you can actually change the volume priority here if you do if you want to so it basically says priority of this outdoor volume the player will use the highest priority volume soundscapes um they are touching at the time so um just <laughs> it's exactly what it says there in the in the, the comment or um but um yeah once you've done that um and why do you auto save and the okay that wasn't very I didn't at least it didn't take that long now one thing I did was I don't know if this actually does anything but all I just did was if you come down to build and you click on generate sound banks I just leave everything how it is and then basically you want to do is just click generate and now uh, sometimes it will fail but then it will still have build those things so you can just basically ignore those and so um the first time I did it I didn't get that error but if you guys get it also um I don't think this is really necessary I'm not sure uh but um yeah after you've done that or if you you don't have to uh you can now click play <clears throat> now if we click deploy you guys will remember we still have our normal um, ambient sounds and now if you go in you will go you will hear like a subtle difference now, like if I shoot here and I walk out you guys will hear there is kind of like a difference from inside and outside um, so um, yeah that's basically how you can set up ambient sounds if you guys enjoyed the video Give it a thumbs up if you didn't a thumbs down and also remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and i'll see you guys in the next one